everyone welcome to my youtube channel yeah a wise man is strong yea a man of knowledge increases strength proverbs chapter 24 verse 5 there's this popular saying that says knowledge is power you see the devil is not scared of our status the devil is not scared of our financial status or our would i say political Whatever status we are occupying in life, the devil is not scared of it. What the devil is scared of is our knowledge for the word of God. What we know in the word of God. Okay, for instance now, have you seen two um, big men fighting before? The first thing you will hear is, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Because they know how intimidating that, that statement seems, you know? So, the devil... Is only scared of a Christian, a believer, who knows what he or she carries, who knows who he or she is in Christ, you know, because then those days when we were growing up, you you hear cases like someone that is scared of maybe um, uh, attack of the devil at night, you see that person putting Bible under his pillow so that the devil will not come. Very funny. The devil will come and squeeze that neck because it is not the Bible under the pillow that the devil is scared of. It is the word of God in you, you know, because it is what is written as in what the word of God in us. Like when the devil comes, when tribulation comes, when adversity comes, we we'll start speaking the word as in what we know, how what we believe, how we believe that the word of God is potent. Do you get? So it is not by putting pillow under our uh, putting bible under our pillows that will scare the devil no in fact they will even come and have feast with the bible under the pillow that is not what the devil is scared about it is the word of god so we need to work be rooted in the word of god we should we should know that the days are evil and this life life is a war mm. those days my pastor used to say life is a war then i didn't understand until you know but it's true We'll keep fighting until the day we leave this earth. Life is a war. So by the time we have those words, any tribulation comes, any arrow of the wicked, we use that word to counter the devices of the wicked. Yeah. Secondly, we should know what? Our identity. Mm. We should know who we are in Christ. After knowing the word, after, after having knowledge of the word of God, then we should be able to what? know who we are as in, we are covenant children of the Most High God. We carry the DNA of Christ. You know, oftentimes you will hear people say, eh, diabetes is in our lineage, so eh, I'm scared. Maybe when, when I get to a certain age, you know, that's, 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 that's what I don't know how to even... If diabetes or whatever is in our lineage, because we carry the DNA of Christ, we are exempted. Mm. We are exempted to the rule. You know? So, because we carry the DNA of Christ, we are not permitted to have that diabetes or whatever. That's a report from the pit of hell. So, by the time we know, we know who we are in Christ. We know the power that is backing us up. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing on earth can intimidate us. You know? It gives us what? Sonship right. It gives us rights that we know that the the ogidi gidi is standing gidi behind us, you know. So is it is very very important to know who we are. And this, if you notice, is still talking about knowledge, knowing the word, knowing who we are. So there is nobody that is knowledgeable that is that is being um, how will I put uh, being lost in or. No matter where you are, the fact that you're knowledgeable about a thing, you must you must strive in that area. So that's how it is. It's just a simple logic. We need to be knowledgeable of who we are in Christ and also know the word and use the word because the word of God is sharper than two-edged sword. So we know how to use it whenever tribulation, whenever trial, whatever ugly incident that comes our way. Have you seen a, a soldier going to war? without being prepared or did you uh, or are you going to see a soldier at the war front rehearsing or trying to practice how he's going to fight nah 
a soldier has already practiced how he is going to fight before he gets to the war front. So that's how a believer should be. Not when you see problem, you start looking for Bible, start or start trying to understand or recognize who we are. Nah, nah, nah. We should know and carry that, you know, carry it with our full chest. So that by the time we we face any ugly incident, we'll just use that what we know to counter the situations of life. Yeah. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, and do contribute in the comment section concerning this topic. Yeah. Gracias.